Ultimately, the provision of space and the ability to live in large groups can enhance a chimpanzee's life. Uh, we are bringing in 111 additional chimpanzees. It will double Tim Haven's population, and it's a definitely a turning point in our campaign. We're starting to see more chimpanzees go into retirement as we've been successful over the years. I've worked with chimps for over um, 15 years, and I've worked with them in the laboratory environment prior to coming to Chimp Haven. And to witness chimps coming out into the natural habitat after seeing what they've been exposed to in the past is rewarding beyond anything that I can say. Seeing the chimps step out into the yards for the first time and to be kind of faced with all of this immense space where they just sit and look up and with this awe of amazement, like there's no bars above me. Uh, it's just absolutely um, phenomenal to witness. Several of us have known some of these chimps prior to them being here, and to actually see them step on ground for the first time and um, not be, be, be very unsure about it because they never touched it before, or to see another chimp and realize there's no bars between you, and to be able to groom and, and just learning the dominance hierarchy, um, who's going to be submissive in a group and who's going to be dominant. It's, it's a very exciting process, it's amazing to witness, and it really is a testament to how much the chimps grow once they get here to Chimp Haven. This is unprecedented. This is the largest group of government-owned chimpanzees to be retired from a laboratory. And now these chimpanzees get to come out and be in big groups and exhibit the same type of behavior that their wild counterparts would do. It's, it just it's, it makes me speechless. We believe that these chimpanzees who have given so much to humankind, that it's only fitting that we give them, we give back to them and um, let them enjoy their retirement years in as close to a, a natural habitat as we can possibly create for them. Some of these chimpanzees are over 50 years old. So it's incredible to see that, you know, they came from the wild where they were able to climb trees and now they're back to climb trees in a more natural setting. This is not like anything we're able to do usually. Working on animal research, you prevent additional research often, but you don't actually physically see animals pick it out to where a place like this. So this is a huge victory, and there are hundreds more in laboratories, and we're very close <laughs> to getting them here. It's been a long road.